Hi, how are you? I'm Mr. Muso. Today we want to talk about the social reforms that we are introduced by Napo, Napoleon. You see that in his social reforms, Napoleon introduced education, schools were built, primary schools were built, secondary schools were built, lyces were built, tertiary institutes were started, vocational training centers were started, the first university of France was what established it. So by so doing now, the literacy level improved in the country because of the introduction of education. Napoleon was in a position of getting a lot of support from the people. Why? As a result of improving the literacy level in a country. Like what you are seeing today, we are seeing classrooms where students are learning. Here we see that the students are in a position of learning a different our theories, different our items, and by so doing, improving the literacy level of the country. This was similar to what was done by Napoleon. But however, in his domestic policies, we see that there were elements of despotism. There was indoctrination. Children they were made to believe that Napoleon he was the only leader who was capable of ruling the country. We also see that there was the role of drums before and after the lesson. When the students came in the morning, early in the morning, they were supposed to march Napoleon, Napoleon, yeah, Napoleon, Napoleon, going to their classrooms. When lessons finished or ended around 4 o'clock or any time, when these lessons ended, students were supposed to stand in a row. They were supposed also to sing Napoleon, Yele, Napoleon, Yele, Napoleon, going uh, at home. When they were outside the gate now, they were supposed not to disperse. But when they were marching, going to the gate, they were supposed to start to uh, march. So clearly showing that there were elements of despotism. And also the girl child was not given, was not given equal opportunities to those opportunities that were given to the boy child. Napoleon had to say that the, re the, what, the importance or the relevance of the girl child was to do household chores and to be a children. That showed that Napoleon he was a child of the French Revolution to a lesser extent. So that is what we have on Napoleon's domestic policies in reference to social activities, social reforms. Thank you so much. I'm Mr. Musso.